As the Commission of Inquiry into Land Matters continue to investigate and unveil land scams in the country, they have heard that over the years, government has paid out billions of shillings to unscrupulous landlords under a non-functioning land fund. Chaired by Justice Catherine Bamgamerire, the Commission has established that over 158 billion shillings was spent to compensate people who are not entitled to the money. Public resources are flowing out steadily to the tune of 158 billion. If I'm correct, you can correct me on the figure. 158 billion. Nobody is stopping the bleeding. Nobody is raising the fact, look, we don't even have an account for this. The commission today interface with the accountant general, Lawrence Semakura. What can we do to, to stop this bleeding of public resources? Of course, my lord, for me, what I've learned from this is that it's... it's one, one, of course, I want to appreciate the Commission for, for highlighting this. So what I've learned is that uh, definitely we need to have operationalized that land fund. Parliament established the land fund in 2000 to deal with the Bunyoro land question purposely to compensate absent landlords as well as the public. It emerged that the land fund has never been operationalized and that does not have a specific bank account to which funds are deposited or drawn. Why is someone spending money yet they have no vote? Where does it come from? The Commission of Inquiry also established that the Uganda Land Commission in 2002 set up a project called named the Support Uganda Land Commission, which has since been used as a conduit to swindle public funds under the guise of the land fund. We had a parade of people here in the last couple of weeks, yeah. beneficiaries of the land fund, according to them. They have been paid billions and billions and upon billions of money supposedly under the land fund but somehow papers for the same parcel of land change hands and another claimant picks close to three billion from the same parcel of land from the land fund there will be letters flying from everywhere saying please pay so and so my lord i think let me take that up with my superiors and see how best we can do people who are paid are not entitled to even claim from the fund the amount paid, the amount that the person, the actual owner gets on the street and the amount that is paid out by the fund is sometimes 20, 30 times as high. Semakura was remorseful and degraded the mails promising to expeditiously rectify errors and operationalize the fund. My lord, we do regret that, but it's an issue that we are now going to, to handle going forward. He revealed that his office has since closed 2,000 dormant accounts belonging to government, some of which were being used for fraudulent activities, leading to loss of billions of shillings. The commission's sittings continue next week. Jingo Francis, NTV, Weekend Edition.